empowering the world one story at a time i i primarily curate for the platform and, and, and i run the company so yeah that's uh, that's about me she brings you closer to inspiring people that there are so many people who want to share stories and i think that's the beauty of it news ex influencer a list proudly recognizes kopal khanna for influence in storytelling Welcome, you're watching NewsX Influencer A-List and I have with me a storyteller, Kopal Khanna. Kopal, first of all, tell us about yourself and tell us about Tape a Tale and the kind of uh, impetus that it has started both online and offline. Thank you, Aarti, for having me. I'm really, really excited to have this conversation with you. Um, about me, so I like to call myself a storyteller and a story finder because there is that artist side of me which likes to tell stories. Uh, but then I also run uh, the storytelling platform called Tape a Tale, where essentially people come and share their real life stories. So it's a platform that I started five years back, um, with the thought of giving everyday ordinary people with stories to share a platform. So these stories don't necessarily need to be inspiring, or they. don't necessarily need to have achieved something in life to be able to get a stage here these are slice of life stories everyday stories and um, the idea is to give uh, anybody who has a story to tell a platform so that is the story finder side of me because i i primarily curate for the platform and and, and i run the company so yeah that's uh, that's about me right so when you say you're a story finder right how do you then reach out to people or do you then get people who reach out to you who want to tell their story and then uh, you help them put their story out how does the process work uh, when you're connecting with the people who are you know telling their stories on tape tale right so initially when i started uh, tat um this was one of the biggest question marks for me as well i was like you know how will i reach out to people who want to share stories but i think personally that was the easiest problem for us to solve because there's so many people who want to share stories right like everybody wants to be heard everybody wants to um tell their stories and they just want a platform that uh, uh you know puts their story out in front of people right it's it's just that some people um have the skill set to be able to share a good story uh what is put right so that's where we do the hand holding um uh, right now the process is fairly simple uh people send us their work people send us their stories in audio format um my team and i listen to the stories and then uh if there is a story that we feel is really powerful or should be uh on the platform we basically get on a call with the person and uh, kind of give them feedback work with them help them with, you know a stage presence and help them perform the story better basically mm-hmm. and that is how it works right now of course initially when i started the platform then it was a lot of me just calling my friends and being like please story sunado but uh, now that we have a little bit of a reach uh, that problem uh, thankfully has been solved where there's so many people who want to share stories and i think that's the beauty of it Absolutely, and like you mentioned, where you're also helping people be better performers, right? Um, as for you yourself as a performer, I'd like to know how you found the experience of both performing on stage and then sharing content online, and what is the sort of difference there? And uh, then, what has the feedback been from the people who have then told their stories, both offline and online as well? Right. I think for me personally. Uh... as a storyteller so the first one and a half years of running tape tale i didn't tell any stories i was only behind the scenes so i think i did a learning a lot of learning through just talking to people and being a person who um who gives uh you know who gives feedback to people and i think my um if i can call it expertise in that area comes from the fact that i am from a communications background myself i'm somebody who um has always had a lot of interest in storytelling and stories and watching stuff and talking to people so i think uh, just story by story storyteller by storyteller i have also kind of uh, i'm still learning uh, i don't think i'm i've reached a moment where i can say that okay you know i can deliver a perfect story i can help somebody to deliver a perfect story i think i'm also still learning with every storyteller and performer uh, and artist that i'm working with um, but i think that's how i have honed my craft over the years uh, by just talking to people and realizing that um, the sim- the simpler a story is told the more powerful it is and i think that's the kind of uh, you know motto i try to follow uh, through my own storytelling and uh, what i try to even 
tell my performers that uh, the more honest authentic real simple you are the more powerful that story is basically Right. Speaking of that, speaking of the reach and the power that each story has, uh, there is no doubt some sort of competition that is evolving online, right, Kukul? Now, when you see there are several pages that are coming up, uh, some as professional as your page, some not as professional, just, you know, uh, that you don't see the people behind the pages sometimes. There are so many stories uh, that you read online. So how do you then ensure that you're reaching the right sort of audience firstly and also catching their attention, holding it? So I think when we started out, um, we were one of the pioneers, uh, especially with storytelling thing. We were the first platform that kind of came out in India that did like the kind of storytelling that we are doing. Um, but I think as the videos started going viral, I think the beauty of this art form is somewhat similar to a, like comedy, where if you have access to an audience and a, a stage or, or, or a venue, you can just crack jokes you can tell a story Absolutely. right like yeah. you you, it, it, you know it's so i think that is why it became easy for people to start these platforms and become storytellers and it became like a very aspirational art form in the sense that everybody started feeling that i can be on the stage too i can be this person so it, it did not feel like a bollywood where if somebody's getting views it's a very far-fetched reality this was like you know i can be this person too it's a very touchable dream right so right. That that was the beauty. So it's great that so many platforms came out and there's so much content. But you're absolutely right. With the number of videos coming in, with the number of platforms coming in, it also becomes uh, some people then need to take that uh, you know thing of I want to focus fully on curating the kind of stories that I want to stand for, the kind mm -hmm. of content that I want to stand for, and the kind of content that works for my audience, right? So for instance, when I started five years back. Uh, there were certain kind of stories that were working, right? Like a lot of love was working on the page. But I think with time, uh, our audiences have also evolved, right? So I think keeping a tap on the age of the audience, the demography of the audience, and then kind of serving them the content rather than saying that I'm curating for Copal, I'm curating for my audience. So now that I know that, okay, my audience loves friendship stories. So can I go find more friendship stories, right? So I think it is just going in the back end and doing the research and, um, you know, knowing that really understanding your audience and being connected with them. I think that is the key to, uh, you know, cracking the curation model. Um, and we are heavily curated. Like we release only four stories uh, a month, hmm. which is like a very small number, but we want to be consistent with what we're putting out. But then we also really want to maintain the quality because right now there is, you're right, there's so much happening in the scene. Um, so yeah, I think that is how. So when you talk about storytelling, Kopal, what according to you is the most important aspect? Uh, not only when you're talking about online content creation and putting out stories there, but also offline when you're talking about picking a story. Uh, I understand you said, you know, connect with the audience, see what the audience likes, but there's also something about storytelling that essentially you need to add that element in, into it, whether it's a part of performance or if it's a package. So tell us a little more about that. Right. So I think for me um, and for how I have been viewing Taper Tales curation, I think it's relatability. And what I've realized in these last five years is that essentially all of us are more or less on the emotional front living similar lives. Right? Mm -hmm. We all feel like we have these unique experiences in a breakup or like in a friendship or in a love mm -hmm. situation, but um, or how we feel when we're alone or our family dynamics, but more or less if you're coming from similar backgrounds and stuff, we've had like similar experiences, right? Mm. But um, like, for instance, I'll give an example. I narrated a story a few years back called Chase Your Dreams, which was a story about me going to Alaska and seeing the Northern Lights, right? Mm. It was a very unique experience that I had that not everybody would be able to resonate with because not right. everybody can go to Alaska and see the Northern Lights, right? right? But I think the beauty of storytelling comes in when you kind of start viewing going to Alaska and seeing the Northern Lights as a dream that I had and I was chasing the dream and then I was able to accomplish that dream and fulfill it and the happiness and the joy that I felt after, mm -hmm. right? So that is the feeling everybody can resonate with because everybody's dreaming, everybody's, you know, struggling to get to their dream, right? right. So I think the idea is that when you take an experience that you as an individual has lived, but how can you make it relatable and how can you resonate that experience with the lacks of people that are listening to you, right? So I think that is what makes a story or a storyteller or a right written story good for me that I can find myself or I think that my audience will be able to find themselves even if the story is very unique. 
in that absolutely way. and i think that's such an important thing especially in today's day and age right uh, when there's so many so many things happening both domestically internationally uh, you know with a war with covid people are struggling and to see okay. other people their experiences whether good or bad to read uh, experiences with that human touch it really makes a big difference um so talking about that uh, talking about the responses uh, to go in detail into that tell us a little more about uh, the responses you've got the way people have reached out to you after reading the stories uh, you know have you heard people saying that some of the stories have inspired them um, moved them uh, anything of that sort that you heard it's amazing like i mean i think that is that is my fuel to run the platform um, yeah, every day we get messages from people and not just the listeners even the storytellers the impact that they've uh, experienced in the life after sharing a story right so mm-hmm. for instance um, like this is something that happened just like a few weeks back and uh, one of my storytellers called me saying that um, some guy he he didn't know gave him a call randomly arranged his number from somewhere not sure where so some friend 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 and he called him and said that hey listen i haven't spoken to my dad in the last 10 years because um after my mom passed away um i kind of blamed my dad for that and we haven't had like a conversation longer than 15 seconds after that uh, incident happened in our lives and we were both sitting and watching tv and somehow youtube pe recommend okay uh, your story the storyteller story started playing and that story is about the bond the storyteller shares with his father and he's like we just watched that story in complete silence and then suddenly uh, my father just got up and went inside the room and i was like i don't know what happened i thought he was teary eyed so i just followed him and for the first time in 10 years his father hugged him and they both apologized to each other and they both said that why did we put put ourselves through this and let's just whatever time we have remaining let's spend it happily and let's you know give each other the love and respect that we both deserve and that was it was so amazing to just hear that you know a 5 minute narration can mend a 10 year long you know uh tiff between a father and a That's- son like that Absolutely Kopal I think it's beautiful the work that you're doing and I hope that your stories continue to touch hearts and souls of people and I hope you get to tell more such stories we're looking forward to what more tape tale has to offer thank you for joining us today and sharing your journey sharing your process with us thank you for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon